take a journey into the hinterland and you find a place which shatters the image projected by Vladimir Putin of a strong new Russia. In the countryside, poverty is grinding. Pensioner Dmitry Shukin tells me he and his wife exist on just 70 pounds a month. For hundreds of thousands of people, the resurgent economy based around energy exports is an illusion. Inflation is rampant and life for many people is getting tougher. This used to be a thriving community. It was built up around the local woodcutting industry. But like thousands of villages across Russia, it's now in a state of terminal decline. Most of the houses are run down and at least a half of them in this village are also deserted. Away from the village and this medical train cuts through the frozen countryside. It's a mobile clinic set up by the government to address the poor healthcare facilities across Siberia. Within hours of arriving, it's swamped by people who feel they're being left behind. Russia is facing a demographic crisis. With the life expectancy of the average male just 59, this country is quite literally dying. Back in the village of Brot, we find out one of the reasons why. Zoya calls it Russia's curse. As we film, she starts drinking her daily bottle of cheap vodka. Alcoholism is killing Russia. 30% of all male deaths are drink-related. We drink because life is bad. There's no bread. We have to bring our own wood. No pain to do up the house. And no salaries. That's it. Depopulation through death and a low birth rate is now an urgent problem. Demographers say if it's not reversed, swathes of the world's largest country will become a desolate wasteland. <laughs> Alex Rossi, Sky News, Siberia. Alex Rossi, 5 News, Siberia.